Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this PH Academy lesson, I want to show you how you can convert a curve, which is just a simple curve. Uh, we can also give it a polyline. So for example, if I draw a polyline here and set it to the curve input, which I'm going to explain, uh, you can see that you can also uh, update the form. Uh, we're going to learn how to define two heights. So one is going to be this height. As you can see here, I can even put it to zero. And another one is the end of the polyline or the curve. So we can also define that too. Then we're going to also define a distance to uh, convert it into a solid. So I can give it a negative number and a positive number. Uh, finally, I can convert that into a solid rhino. Uh, as you can see here, the curve is going to be converted into this solid. So this lesson is focused more on deformation, how we can deform a a curve or a polyline. Uh, let's get started from scratch. Okay, to get started, I'm just going to draw a polyline, uh, for example, this one, and we can bring that into Grasshopper by going to the Pam's menu, geometry, and curve. Uh, okay, let's just right click here and set this to the curve. We can also select a polyline for that. Uh, the next step is to deform this for the base uh, of the solid. Uh, what I have found is really useful and a fast way to define two heights. So let's just define two heights, for example, from 0 to 20 with two decimals. Uh, I'm going to name this height 1 and just let's make a copy of this and rename it to height 2. And then we can go to transform. Uh, a good tool in transform which you can use uh, you can use the morph spatial deform and uh, as you can see here, let me just go to the full name. Uh, the geometry we want to deform is this curve, so I'm going to give it here. The syntax for the uh, is the points we want to deform on the geometry. Uh, for the polyline, we can simply go to the curve and use this uh, discontinuity component which you can see it finds all discontinuities along the curve. I'm going to give that to the curve. And as you can see here, it's going to give you a point. Obviously, if we have a curve and I use that one as an input, this is also going to give you the start and the end. So this, this is useful for both polylines and uh, also a node. So let's just delete this and go here. Uh, what I want to do is to only select the start and the end of this point, which is going to be the edge, uh, the height one and height two. So we want to say that this point is going to go up with this height and this point is going to go up with this height. And that's why we have to use the start and the end as the syntax and the forces is going to be in the z direction with this height. Okay, uh, I'm going to say a set uh, list item. Uh, as you can see here, the index by default is zero, which is going to select this one. I'm going to zoom in and hit plus and it's going to uh, automatically go at the end of the list, which is going to be the start and the end. So this is a good technique if you want to uh, use it. Okay, I'm going to use a params menu point, use the shift key and remember the order. So the first is the start and then I'm going to use the shift key and at the end. So these are the two points and I'm going to give them as the syntax. Uh, for the force, uh, we can use a Z. As you can see here, uh, this is the force as a list uh, or you can go to the vector vector and use the unit Z or whatever force you want to give. Because we have two points, we have to also define two uh, different Z's. So I'm going to just bring these here. Uh, again, this is for the first point, and then I'm going to use the shift key to give it to the second point. So let's just uh, move this uh, up. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see the deformation better, maybe even more. Okay, and now you can see that this is going to be the height for the first point, and this is going to be the height uh, for the second point, which is really great. Uh, that's how we can make the first deformation. I also want to show you how you can use the morph uh, spatial deform custom, uh, which is going to be a fall off function. So I can just get rid of this spatial deform and go for the custom one. Again, we can give the curve 
uh, give the points, give the force. And here you can see that the fall off function is one divided by x. Uh, to make this um, uh, easier to understand, I'm going to say 